What is poppin' squad? It's your boy Jasami, and today we're gonna be talking about the year one free content poster that was released titled Invasion Battle for DC, scheduled for April 5th. Now, what does that mean? That means World Tier 5 and Title Basin will be dropping on that day. That means the gear cap will be raised to 500. It'll introduce gear sets and we'll finally get the taste of the real end game that is with Division 2. Now, for the people who play Division 1, you understand what this means. This means every build you make from that point on in Mid Max will be your true build. It will be at its height, like the height of its capabilities, and you'll be able to actually spec into that. Not saying World Tier 4 builds are going to become useless because they're definitely going to be useful. Um, like I said, uh, World Tier 5 is the end game, and being that 425 was a cap to get into that, at least you know anything past 425 will technically still help you in World Tier 5. So don't be mad if you made a build and you invested into it. It's still going to work in World Tier 5. You just need to upgrade it and get into better situations and better drops. So if I'm going to give you guys some quick advice, um, Right now, I think you should probably halt. Now that we have a date, you probably halt making builds that cost resources. Yes, you can still theory craft, put builds together, and kind of just, you know, play puzzle piece, but don't try to reroll everything for perfection until we fully understand how the gear is going to drop and what how what level it's going to be at and what how crafting and all that's going to work. Because now that 500 is going to be the top tier, right now the gear you can only roll up can go up to 465, which was going to be too low if you're trying to mid-max. So it's no point in wasting all your resources, especially if you're going to be able to upgrade your crafting bench and craft a brand new piece for that. Now, if you already did it and you already have your build set, that's fine. Like I have like six builds I'm going to be rotating across. That's good. Keep that. But anything else that you're going to be start crafting that's 440 or whatever, especially um, exotics, don't try to go and farm your exotic. You might as well just wait the week and focus on something else like leveling up your specialists or maxing out your materials or, or, or trying to clean up your, your map. So for me, if I'm going to give you guys true advice, what I'm doing, being that I've wasted, dude, I'm not wasted because I love making builds, but being that I've used so much resources, I'm probably going to make a halt on brand new builds and that that are probably fully mid max um so if, if i release a build it's probably gonna be more of a theory build because right now i'm i'm pretty much have my eyes set on that 500 cap trying to fully mid max and see what my agent feels like in the upper most part of the game now a couple fixes that are probably going to come into this um i'm not sure 100 percent but they claimed that the NPC's damage is going to be nerfed, or not not nerfed, but they're going to be tuned differently. So our PVE experience might be a, a little bit more realistic in terms of us being able to actually exchange with the NPCs and not get absolutely blitzed and destroyed and laser beamed across the map, um, where it's insane. Like just like this gameplay you're watching, this is a this is a world tier four level four control point, and they are extremely tanky. No matter how much damage to elite you have. And they're super strong, and it's it's almost unbearable at times. And I think that they're changing that with the new world tier. I think that with the gear sets, um, we're not too sure how they're going to work. Um, being that exotics are extremely strong, and I can just see where they're going with it, these gear sets might be amazing. Um, the only one I know of is the Patreon one. I, I don't know the full details on it. I forgot. But uh, you can look that up. But you just know gear sets are coming with this new world tier, so expect to see... Um, different combos that you're gonna have to set up. Um, it's gonna open up brand new builds depending on what the buffs are. Now, as far as more exotics, as far as like exotic masks and backpacks and stuff, I, I don't know if that's coming with it, but I would assume being that heroic difficulty is coming, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna have some new rewards in line with this new world tier. Now, for the people who are, aren't even at world tier four, just continue grinding your game. Don't try to speed up because you feel like you don't wanna be left behind. I promise you, nobody's going nowhere. At the end of the game, mostly for my Division One experience, um, everybody kind of crowds around a certain level anyways, so it doesn't really matter. It's not like if, if you're not in World Tier 5 and people are in World Tier 5 for like two days that you're going to be also behind the, to where it's impossible. No, take your time, still enjoy your game, still grind, save your resources. If you aren't in World Tier 4 now, honestly, I'm going to be real with you. If you're not in World Tier 4 right now, let's just say you've been working and you have family or just, just whatever life is giving you where you're not in World Tier 4, which I totally understand, do not go crazy trying to make builds right now because you're, you're going to be blowing through resources and you're going to end up being in World Tier 5 so fast because a lot of us would have been in World Tier 5 had it been released. If you think about it, um, we would have been in World Tier 5 for probably a week now. So save your resources. 
um, keep grinding, enjoy the game because you want to do that first grind once and you will receive a, a, a standing ovation from all of us in World Tier 5. If you have friends that are there and let's say you wanted to just, I don't know, have them drop you some gear just so you can get up to speed, you can do that. But as of right now, I will my best advice is to enjoy the game because now we're going to have a full slice of what the game has to offer. And as many of you have seen, it's no question that a bunch of content is on its way, dude. As far as PvE, as far as PvP, all kinds of content. And especially being that they're going to start adding in those exotic gear pieces, you're going to have a whole different spectrum of builds to make. And being that they're exotic, it's not like, even if even if I grind it for 10 days more than you, there's still a chance that you can hop in, finally get into World Tier 5, and get that drop that I've been looking for for the past 10 days based off RNG. So at the end of it, it becomes like a melting pot based off RNG and just based off of, you know, tinkering through it and, and having a good team and stuff. So make sure you guys, please, 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 if I, I want to make your guys' life as easy as possible. If you don't take any other advice I ever give on my channel, let's just say you're just prideful and you just never took my advice, take it today. Do not waste any more valuable resources because it is aggravating to get them back especially if you're trying to keep up with the content trying the new stuff out trying to hunt for gear pieces and gear drops and all this stuff you don't want to get caught in, in having to search for for materials when you have the chance to go and do those missions to get everything you need to make your perfect build especially if these gear sets are amazing so uh, I can't stress that enough. I know I brought it up like three times in this video, but I really want you guys to know that is going to make your life so much easier when World Tier 5 drops. If you have resources to spare, at least you can make like, e even if it's super expensive to make a perfect rolled gear set, make sure you have that. So at least you have one build that can probably be fully min-max to help you get through the content, especially if people are doing these the strongholds and people are doing these heroic missions because challenges are already hard, dog. Um, a lot of a lot of people can't even do challenging right now with 450 plus gear, let alone heroic where they're going to be like 10 times smarter. If you played Division One, you know that we had our base NPCs that were and they were kind of they were kind of dumb, and then the legendaries where they're like ridiculously smart. These NPCs are smart at base, so imagine what their legendary and heroic versions are going to be like. We, you don't even want, I don't know. It's just like fighting all hunters. So prepare for that. Mentally get yourself ready. Find your build. Find your niche. Max out your specialist. This is what I need to do. Max out your specialist. And even right now, like if, if you wanted to be crazy and just be super frugal, make a new character right now. Let's say you have all your gear and you're good and you're ready for World Tier 5. Make another character, dude. And that's what I'm, I'm thinking about doing. Make another character. Invest into it so you have some more... Um, inventory space so that you, you you have a whole nother character to go to for if, if there's like daily events and all that stuff because you, it's it's easy all you have to do is drop your gear into your stash and you're and get get to level 30 get past your strongholds and your character is going to be basically in world tier 5 as well so make sure you guys somehow some way find the best way to save your resources to stack up on certain things to get gather every weapon gather every weapon you possibly can we don't know what changes or buffs or nerfs are going to come. So make sure you have the arsenal ready. Um, that's why I say make another character so you can hold some of the pieces of, of weaponry that, that you probably don't necessarily like that are probably not good enough for you. And just so you can be prepared for anything. Prepare yourself for World Tier 5. Prepare yourself for Endgame. Do not be left behind because you want to focus on what it is right now. I'm not saying don't stop build making. Continue theory crafting. Continue sculpting your play style. But at the same time, be smart about it and do not drop off all your resources on something you're probably not going to be using come two weeks or so. So April 5th is the date. Um, Title Basin is the mission. You will be rejected in the World Tier 5. You will be dealing with new challenges, um, bounties and all that stuff because I believe the heroic comes out with it as well. So pretty much it you guys I, I just wanted to give you guys like a little briefing you know what i'm saying this is our little team squad meeting uh to for the people who just weren't up to speed so you can be prepared for this because it is coming and it's going to be lit the bills are going to be insane and we're going to finally see what the true 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 end game of division 2 it looks and feels like so be excited for that it's going to be a bright future ahead i love y'all appreciate y'all get to grinding your boy is out